Hey Brandy, I apologize for my morning hair and um, the distracting two different curtains back there. We're trying to decide between which ones we're going to get. But um, I wanted to go over a couple of the books that I recommended for your four-year-old and one-year-old. Uh, I'll start with your four-year-old. I gave her a bunch of storybooks that we love at this house. I also have a four-year-old. Um, a Tale of Two Beasts I talked about in one of the pre-party posts, so look, take a look at that. Uh, but it's really cute. It goes through the story of a little girl who finds a little beast and her adventures with it. And then it, um, the story ends and it flips through and it tells the same story from the beast's point of view. So it's two different stories in one, opposing viewpoints, and it's really cute. And it's got a really sweet lesson. Um, one Night at the Zoo is uh, another book I love to read out loud. It's uh, got just great rhythm and cadence to it, but it talks about um, <clears throat> the hijinks that some animals get up to before the... Oh, and excuse my daughter who's walking around in just underwear. <laughs> Karis, get out of here unless you have pants on. <laughs> um, it talks about the hijinks that the animals get up to. Um, it's got really sweet, soft illustrations. And um, again, like I said, the rhyme and words in it are really sweet. Um, and it's a fun book to read. And it's a pretty quick read. Hey! <laughs> how Big is a Million is about a little penguin who wants to find out how big a million is. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of a padded hardcover book. So it's a little bit thicker. And it talks about, oh my gosh, and now I have a naked two-year-old coming across. I'm going to pause this for a second and get some clothes on my children. Okay, well, the two-year-old is still naked, so if you see a naked two-year-old drive behind me, please don't report me to CPS. She just Hi guys. <laughs> does not want to be dressed. Um, another book that my four-year-old loves is this Princess Stories book. This is a dual reader. It's another padded hardback. No, I want to read it. You can read it in just a second. Um, it's actually not very girly. I really like that about it. Um, but it talks about a princess. And you can see this is the princess. So she kind of gets out there and gets muddy and dirty. Um, and she saves the day with a dragon. But these books are special because they have two lines of text. One at the top and one at the bottom. You can see the top one is a little bit larger, shorter, smaller words. The one at the bottom is a little bit smaller text. And it's longer and harder words. And uh, the child can read the line of text at the top by themselves when they are to the point where they're able to read like that. And then the parent can read the bottom text. Um, or if you are in a hurry or the child is reading the book by themselves, once they're to that point, they can read just the top text by themselves and the story will still make sense. So you can skip the bottom text if you need to. Um, so that's the Princess Stories books and it's, I think, four or five stories in there. Really cute. I gave her um, a couple of our Look Inside books, which we really love. Um, World and Jungle, and actually just as of today, the body book is in stock, and I highly, highly recommend the body book. It is one of our favorites, um, but they're all going to be pretty similar in that you open it up, and each page is about a different topic. This one's about, like I said, the body, and it's got different flaps you can lift up to Mom, learn about the topic. And, and something you... It's <laughs> There's the naked one. <laughs> we'll just block her with the book. And, and, um, and this is the smoking one. So, so, if you, if you're smoking, this is what happens to you. It used to be red like these, but now if you're smoking, you turn gray. Black and gray, yeah. So, they learn lots of different information um, about the topics, about their body. Um, that's the body one. Then there's the jungle one, which is really fun. Um, talks about the jungle, living in the jungle. Um, again, lots of flaps, little bites of information. There goes the naked one again. Um, the world one, same thing. Um, it kind of talks about the world, different parts of the world, um, the ocean, just big, big, huge flaps, lots of fun. So I highly, highly recommend these Look Inside books. These are the books that really got us hooked on us born. Um, I put the Starting to Read set on there for her. Those are designed to take a child from being a total non-reader to beginner reader. Uh, here's an example of one of the books that is in that Pat Starting... Pirate. Pirate Pat. Um, that is in that Starting to Read book 
Um, this one is hardcover because it's from the very first reading set, which is a set of 16 books and it's uh, more expensive and larger. Uh, the one I put on there is eight books and they're soft cover. Um, but this book is one of the ones that are in there. So it goes through and it talks about the, oh, there's the naked one again. Blocker, kind of. <laughs> it talks about um, the different letters. It lists the different letters that are in the book. And so if your child can do the letter sounds for these letters, then they are able to read the book. It has a smaller, kind of like the dual reader, only these ones cannot be read separately. They have to all be read together. Um, it's got... Um, a line of text for the parents and then a line of text for the very beginner reader. Karis, can you sound this out for the video? At Pat as as is Pat is sad, um, and she's four, so. Four years old. <coughs> I'm four and a half. <laughs> um, whoops, sorry about that. So the starting to read set is really great for, oh my gosh, what is happening? For helping your child learn to read. Um, for your baby, for your one-year-old, some of the books that I added, let's get this block. Oh my gosh. Life with kids, right? <laughs> Trying to work while they're here is not always the easiest. Um, Animal Hide and Seek, you can see it's a big, large book with um, flaps, it's really fun. It's got flaps and textures on every page, um, as well as a little hidden duck on every page, that's really fun to find. Um, and it kind of subtly goes through counting as well. So you can um, open the flaps, feel the textures, find the hidden duck, who is right there in this page. Um, and like I said, it goes through um, counting up through like five or something. So it's not an advanced counting book, but it's really fun. Be careful, please. Don't write on the book. Write that way, please. I'm a nine. Write that way, please. So, highly recommended. Hang on, just a second. We have a crisis. Okay, so I'm back. Hopefully that crisis is resolved. Um... I also gave him a That's Not My book. It wasn't this one. This is just the one that I happened to grab. Um, but these are so great. These are top sellers for babies and toddlers for really good reason. They have bright pictures. Um, each page has bold illustrations and repetitive text, which is so important for literacy. Um, that repetitive text really helps them anticipate what's coming next. Um, and then there's huge textures to really keep them engaged in the book. So awesome books. Um, the Touchy Feely Colors Playbook has textures, flaps, finger trails, a little bit of everything. Here's a finger trail. These are grooves cut into the books that they can trace with their fingers, and they're great for fine motor skills. Um, there's textures, like I said, flaps. Um, <clears throat> there's animals, colors, and farm animals, I think, of these. Um, but there are lots of fun little bits of things to do on every page and then there's also little cutouts um, so these are great for keeping kids engaged and really getting them excited about books um, finger trail playbook is another one this one has finger trails that the child can trace with their fingers um, again those are those grooves cut into the page this one has bigger trails and um, it's actually when you are teaching the child about these, doing these finger trails, you teach them left to right, just like they would read words on a page left to right. So it's great for kind of setting up that foundation of understanding that language goes from left to right. Um, and then it also has little flaps. So lots of fun. Um, each page has more than one finger trail on it. So highly recommended. Uh, Slide and See is one of our favorite toddler and baby books. This one has sliding components on each page that you can slide back and forth. Um, they're awesome. They're more durable than, um, i trying to do it so you can see. They're more durable than flaps and they can do them completely themselves and you don't have to worry about them destroying the books. Um, they've also got some, a couple finger trails. So big time recommended on these slide and see books. They just love them, little finger trails on their tails. So, 
Um, then the last book I'm going to show you is The Wild Animal World. This is another highly recommended book. These are so incredibly cute. Like when it arrived in the box, I literally was like, oh my gosh, I, I squealed over them. They're so darling. Um, they come in this great box with the magnetic closure to keep them all contained. Then it's, you can see ours are well loved. Um, they, my daughter just absolutely loves these. And even my four year old will get these out and read them and play with them and stack them. Um, but you can see they're very thick. They're super tiny. And um, the wild animal and farm animal versions go through the different animals, what their baby is called, what they eat. The um, 100 words version, each one, each book is a different set, like at home, at school, at, you know, whatever, outside. Um, and then each page is a different word from that location. And then the I can count one is obviously counting. Um, the other great thing about these books is that they are stackable. You can get them out and stack towers with them so kids can kind of play with them as they're reading. But then they're also great for matching and um, coordination and fine motor skills. You can see that each book, or yeah, each book has a little slot that it belongs into, um, and there's little dividers in there that keep them separate. So the child has to match the animal to put it in the right slot and then use their fine motor skills to actually fit it in there. So just really great books on all sorts of different levels. So um, I hope you enjoyed that quick look at some of the books that I recommended for you and that I put on the wish list for your daughter and your son. And let me know if you have any questions about any of them or if there were some that you were really interested in but I didn't cover. I'm happy to see if I can get you more information on those. So. Bye guys. <laughs> Thank you for my video because I really I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a new bike today. <laughs> she when, is getting when, a new bike when, today. When, when my daddy comes home. Bye bye. Blah 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 blah.